Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the Vancouver Canucks as Captain Bo Horvat came out with a pretty big statement coming into this season. He wants to set the tone for his team this year going into training camp. And uh, now we're not messing around this year. We want to win. And he had a pretty big quote that he said and uh, when he talked to The Athletic on VanCast. Uh, Captain Bo Horvat, in quote, I've been on the team. This will be my eighth year coming up, which is crazy. I don't want to go through the motions in the regular season and be done in April. I want to be playing in the playoffs, and I think we have the team here to get there. We just have to go prove it now. Everyone, uh, enough is enough. And we can talk all we want. At the end of the day, we have to go out there and prove it on the ice. Which I absolutely love this. This is the burning fire and power in Bo Horvat. That's why he's the captain of the Canucks. This guy is just... He may not be the best player on the Canucks, right? You could argue Hughes, Pedersen, Besser. Maybe better players overall than Bo Horvat. But Bo Horvat is the leadership guy in the room. And he kind of reminds me a little bit of Joe Sackick in the sense that, you know, I, I mean, obviously Joe Sackick was a, an absolutely great player. But the way he's fairly quiet and the way he keeps to himself, but he, the way Bo Horvat plays, he is a guy that is just a great leader in the room. And this is exactly what these young guys need when he sets the tone for training camp. You look at some of the young guys coming into this team. You have guys like Niels Hoglander coming into his first full season. And you have some young guys like Vasily Podkolzin uh, or Oli Ulevi. He's setting the tone for those young guys coming in. Saying, hey, listen, we're here to win now. We're, we're done with the rebuild stuff. Getting top five draft picks. We want to win now. And I think he made it quite clear in this comment that he is ready to go. And I think... You know, from what they did in the bubble in 2020, going to the Easter, uh, the Western Conference Final, and ultimately losing to the Vancouver, uh, the Dallas Stars, for that matter, I think there is a sense of expectation from a bounce back season from where they slid last year, missing the playoffs in what many would argue was the easier division in the Canada Division, uh, the Scotia North Division, and they still couldn't get it done making it to the Stanley Cup playoffs. And you look at this team, you look at the guys they've added. I mean, you you have a lot of guys returning in your top six. You have Connor Garland coming in. He's going to be a prominent role in the top six. You have a guy in the middle, uh, two guys in the middle six, new guys, Jason Dickinson and Vasily Podkolzin. And then on defense, you have a fairly similar team, but you have some young guys on your third pair, Jack Rathbone and a new addition, a new face in Tucker Pullman. And I think a lot of Canucks fans are excited for Tucker Pullman. And not to mention, you have Oliver Ekman Larson, for Christ's sake, playing alongside Tyler Myers. That's a pretty good defensive group there, or a pretty good defensive pairing you have the defensive minded stalwart in Tyler Myers and the guy moving the puck forward in Oliver Ekman Larson and you have Travis Hamannick coming back alongside Quinn Hughes there is a lot of excitement in Vancouver and their goaltending you're expecting another good year from Thatcher Demko as he continues to improve and Yaroslav Halak who not many have been not many people have been talking about as a really good goaltender that was a backup in Boston for a while and even before that, actually had a pretty good final year with the New York Islanders before heading to Boston, which led to that contract. So I think the I think the Vancouver Canucks, I know, I hate when I talk about Bruins fans, uh, Canucks, but the Vancouver Canucks, with that move they made, giving up the ninth overall pick, bringing in Oliver ekman Larson and Connor Garland and Jason Dickinson, they made it quite clear to this team this year that we are ready to go. And you have guys on ELCs like Hoaglander, like a guy like Jack Rathbone, like Vasily Podkolzin. Take advantage of this time while you can. This is the window for the Vancouver Canucks. We talked about this a couple years ago with the Toronto Maple Leafs, with guys like Matthews and Marner when they were still on their entry-level deals. And now that they're no longer on their entry-level deals, we see how difficult it is for the Leafs to make moves, especially in a flat salary cap era. So with that said, Canucks fans, I know you're pretty excited for this season, but let me know in the comment section down below, what are the expectations for the Vancouver Canucks? Because I think at this point, 
the Canucks know that they need a good season here. Like, there is no room for... There's no room for missing the playoffs. And Jim Benning is absolutely on the hot seat. And I think this is a great chance for Vancouver, who finished at the bottom of the North Division last year, is going to want to finish with a better record. 23-29-4 last season. They want to do much better than that. And to be honest... Travis Green is probably on the hot seat a little bit too this year. This is a huge season for the Canucks. And you look at some of their stats last year. I mean, their goals for 151, that's 24th out of 31. That's not really good. Goals against 26th in the NHL. Like, what happened? They just were not very, you know, they weren't very prolific where they needed to be. And I think there is some excitement because of those guys they added but at the end of the day they were just a below average team and you look at their power play 17 percent the average was almost 20 percent penalty kill was at practically 80 percent and you know the average was 80 percent but they were below in both those categories and for a team that had just gotten to the western conference final in the bubble in 2020 it was really disappointing to see how they had fallen off this year. Now, the good news, the good news is they did have a couple of key injuries at points last year, like losing Bo Horvat with an injury, which really kind of derailed the season. That really hurt them last year. And Braden Holpe wasn't great. They bought him out, you know, and, and there's going to be some different guys leading the room because now that entire core that was there before Pedersen and Hughes, that's all gone. You know, the the Sedins are gone. Alex Burrows is gone. And now Alex Edler, who was one of the last guys on that group, he's now gone as well. So like I said, let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Do you think it's realistic that the Vancouver Canucks make the playoffs in that Pacific division next year? Because they're going to have some competition. You have Vegas, you have Vancouver, you have Edmonton, you have Calgary, maybe the LA Kings. There's going to be some tough competition in that division. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL and more videos just like this one, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys again next time.